Hey there, everybody. Um, hope y'all are doing well. I'm here in the studio and I have LTE, so hopefully this video will come through clear enough. Um, I'm actually really excited. You know, obviously it's a whirlwind here in our life, but uh, I've been wanting to do something for a long time for the Patreon folks. Um, one of the, the big reasons I'm doing this, so I'm, I'm going to be offering audio loops to the songs that we're learning. I'll go more into detail about what that means, but uh, basically a big reason that I'm wanting to do this is, you know, there's a lot of people there on Patreon that are learning, um, but I don't get to hear, you know, we're, everybody's all over the world, so I don't get a chance to really be like watching you and like seeing how well you're doing on the songs. Um, and what kind of progress you're making. Hey, Hendrik, good to see you, man. I'm excited to tell you and everybody else about this. So um, so I've been kind of like trying to brainstorm, like, how do I do this? Because, you know, sometimes I have folks that maybe, uh, you know, they learn a lot of the parts and, um, you know, they're like, all right, I'm ready for the next thing. And I'm, I'm kind of like, well, wait a second, that, that took me six months to be able to learn and you're telling me the next day that you've got it, like, um, how well do you have it? And there's no way for me to really know. So, um, so what I've done is I've created the, started making these audio loops. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be giving, this is, um, also like a way because it takes so much time to make these loops. This is going to be an offering for patrons that are paying $20 a month or more. Um, your beers are in G. No pitch possibilities in Portugal. Cool. Uh, sorry to hear that, Hendrik. So, um, so what I'll be doing is sorry, I got distracted there. Uh, basically, I'm gonna make for every variation. For example, I'm recording a bunch of uh, Neymam Sasa loops right now. So. I made a loop of me playing, and so I'm here in the studio, so let me kind of, you know, like you can see, here's the mic and, and the computer behind me. I've been here today making these loops. So I have four different tempos. Uh, we're doing it at 110 BPM, 150, 190, and 220. Um, so I'll play one loop, record it, and then I'll play that same loop four different times at these four different tempos so that as you progress, uh, eventually you will be able to play the variation you've learned at performance tempo. So to me, that's that's when somebody can email me and say, hey, I've got it, I'm ready for the next thing, is when they can comfortably play the song at performance tempo. So let me uh, flip the camera around and show you all what I mean with this Nimam Sasa. So we've got, uh, don't worry about how this all looks. This is not going to look this way for you, but just to give you an example. So at 110 BPM, I've got this one name on Sasa version. And so I have a little click track. So you'll be getting a copy of the click track and a copy of the Imbira audio to download. Uh, so here's the 110 BPM version of one of the variations. There's So there's a four count, uh, four click count in, and then you have the loop. And see right up here in Cubase, I have this blue line, that's the loop. So what that means is it plays the Imbira loop and then it just keeps looping it for as long as you want. So check it out. Let me turn it up a little bit. So it probably doesn't sound that great on the phone, but so that's one loop of that. And so then I'm going to, uh, next tempo up, this is going to be a different one. I've made four, no, I think six different Neymam Sasa loop versions already. So here's like the next one at the 150 BPM tempo. I should I should comment there's that little pickup right here that's happening I haven't done any editing on these loops yet so so that's why it's going from one version into the other so my apologies let me get this loop going here it goes so like one two three four go 
So this is the one with the high line. So you'll notice there was no Hosho on those. The reason is because that tempo is still too slow for Hosho. So I have some real Hosho that Matimai played uh, for the last two speeds of these. So Hosho now at 190 BPM. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So you'll be getting a copy of the Hosho uh, loop. So for example, in that one, you'd get the Hosho loop, you'd get the click loop, and you'd get the Embira loop. Uh, and then finally now, so that was kind of fast, right? And now we get to performance tempo. So here is actual performance tempo. This is the real speed that Matimai was playing uh, this Hosho. This is at 220 BPM. This is the tempo you want to get up to on all of your parts. Three, four. So, oh, I didn't have that looped. Let me loop that. Here we go. Two, three, four. So you'll hear that was the version of Nemam Sasa where we have the left hand Bueller Dioko and the right hand is normal. So um, so you're going to have different tracks. So the Hosho may be too loud, too quiet. You know, you're going to be able to adjust that. I'll do a tutorial video for uh, those of y'all who are at this Patreon level that are getting these loops. If you need the video, I know a lot of you guys like Steven uh, Hendrick. I, I don't know your experience with DAWs, but I know Steven's used them forever. Um, so, you know, those of y'all that are doing this might already be familiar with doing the loops long. So let me flip the camera around. Okay. So I am super excited about this. It's going to be awesome. So what you're going to get is if you're paying 20 bucks a month as a patron, you're going to get access to all of the audio loops that I, uh, make available that month. I'm going to set up like a Google, um, like a Google Drive that's going to be separate from Patreon. And then I'll give uh, everybody the login. Like, you know, you'll have your login with your email. I won't get into the logistics of it. But basically, it's like if you pay 20 bucks, then you have access to all the loops that I offer for that month. And then the following month, if you pay 20 bucks again, you will have access to all the loops that I offered that month and, and as well as the month before. So basically, you will have access to the loops for the months that you pay for. Um, the reason is these take a lot of time to make. And so what I don't want to have happen, I don't expect it to happen. What I don't want to have happen is someone joins for $20 gets the loops from the last two years of Patreon, downloads them all, and then quits. So, you know, by being a patron at that level, you'll be able to get the loops that you have access to for that month. And you will be able to download them. So even if you did uh, quit Patreon, you would still have access to those loops that, that you had purchased. Um, so I think that's going to be a great value. I think it's really going to be beneficial for you and beer players there that maybe, you know, maybe you've learned a lot of parts, but you don't necessarily know the, uh, like the, the benchmark that you want to get to on these parts. So hopefully that's going to help you out. I've already done today. I got a name on Sasa, the high variation name on Sasa with the first base variation, uh, name on Sasa with the extended base variation. Nemam Sasa with the flipped bass variation on the right hand or the left hand. <coughs> now then Nemam Sasa with the flipped left hand bass and then the right hand change. So that's like the Bueller Dioko version. And then playing uh, usually the standard left with the bass high line. So what is that? Six different loops all at four different tempos each. So that should be enough to keep you all busy for a while. I'm going to be getting these uploaded here in the next few days. 
Um, anybody that, that, you know, if you're already a patron, if you bump up your thing to $20, uh, that'll get you access to all of these. So I'll be trying to get a bunch out this month, or, you know, at least these and certainly a few more for this month. And we'll just keep on growing it. All right. I love you guys. I hope you're well. And uh, thank you all so much for your love and support. And I'm just really excited to be able to, to offer things at this next level for those of you that really want to take your playing to the next level. Uh, hey, David, these loops are going to be their wave file loops. So you'll be able to use them in any DAW that you use. Ableton, Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, whatever. No problem. Uh, they'll be marked with the name of the song, the name of the variation, the BPM uh, that you can set. And oh yeah, one one last thing. I know I've talked so much already, but one super exciting thing is you're going to be able to stack these loops on top of each other and build from them. So the idea is you're going to be able to assemble these. So you'll be able to have like an intro, first variation, second variation, third, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, you're going to be able to put them all together and practice them at certain different numbers of times that you want to as you build it up. And you're going to even be able to play with them or play against them as your kutsunita, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, audio MP3 loops, these are, they're audio loops, Hendrix. So you'll be able to play them on iTunes or whatever, but, you know, you're going to have to, to get a seamless loop. Uh, you're probably going to want to put it in a DAW, but those are, there's lots of free DAWs. There's things like Audacity, um, uh, Reaper you can use for free indefinitely. David, key tempo. Um, watch the video. I went through the tempos that I have for all four of these. The key is going to be on our standard Mbira tuning that we use on Patreon, uh, whether it's the Niamaropa or Mavembe. So it's going to be the Mbiras that we use with Patreon. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. I got to run. We got folks coming in for the next class. Love you guys. Bye. Hendrik, I haven't turned this up. You can play it on anything. It's an audio loop. You can put it on iTunes, anything you want. I know Rakefit had like some app that was like loopy or something she called, and she puts the loops in there. So anything that plays loops will work. No problem. Uh, okay, I got to go, y'all. Bye.